so with the new expression builder the basic thing we are allowing is we are allowing any field for a numerical entity be expressionable so instead of putting a number in a field you can actually make it an expression examples say in virtual measurements you can actually create your own virtual measurement off of a real physical measurement using an expression where is it useful say you're measuring uh, say some quantity from a analog signal it could be a third party transducer and you need to do the mapping between the voltage that you are reading and the actual physical quantity and uh, sometimes that information is available in the handbook of the transducer and there is a, usually a linear relationship or a non-linear relationship and you can uh, put that expression to, to do that mapping from say the voltage to your actual physical measurement of the transducer. Another place where this expressionability is helping is test control settings. For example, um, you want, let's say you have different ramps in your test, you know, ramping up and then holding and then ramping down and so on. Um, and many of the parameters that you define can now not only be numbers, but can be expressions. So you can really embed a lot of logic into the way you're handling your ramps and stuff like that so it really uh, as you can see i have circled wherever there is an expression builder icon meaning you can embed logic into that field is what it means or uh, embed uh, um, a variable that you can create and use across different places or you could use a specimen property to specify uh, something or you could sometimes use a, a condition using the expression builder and so on and the third place where this referencing is helping is within the calculations. So, for example, here we see on the slide average value calculation where there are some fields that you need to fill in to define that calculation completely. And some of those fields come with the expression builder icon, which again means that you can put some logic behind those things uh, instead of just a number. So, for example, the domain, which region are you looking at for this calculation? You could say something like, you know, ramp one until the end of data, or you could say, um, okay, you know what, whenever the extension is more than this value, you know, that's my region. Uh, or you could use an end condition to specify, you know, a combination of conditions and so on. And when it comes to, in, you know, numerical entities like start value and end value, you can once again use the expression builder and reference something instead of putting a, uh, a number there. So it, what it really is allowing you to do is, is really mapping what you're thinking in terms of testing onto the real test setup through this referencing technique. That's how the expression builder, you know, we have made it available under different sections of the software. And uh, this is what it's actually doing. It is connecting the different parts of the test method using the expression builder. As you can see, the specimen properties and number inputs are made available to configure virtual measurements and the test controls. They're also made available in calculations. In fact, calculations can use both physical and virtual measurements as well as specimen properties, number inputs, and test control settings to set up a calculation, uh, a user-defined calculation, or to tweak a, an existing calculation in the library. So this, is, uh, this slide is really what brings everything together to show the power of referencing uh, using the expression builder.